Hi sweet friends, it's Petra here with another Bramble Fox video and today I'm using the number 40 stencil with those gorgeous tropical leaves and I'm going to use the cheetah stencil and a wildlife collection a perspective title and that collection is amazing so I had to use it and I'm starting off with coloring those leaves with two different oxides and then I will fussy cut them out and I'm not going to show you all that cutting because that's boring um, and as you see I always clean my stencils with simply a splash of water and then gently rub it with a piece of kitchen towel so I'm finding some matching papers to uh, match that photo of our son uh, a couple of years ago uh, when we were visiting my father he, um, he lives in Malaysia so we went to the zoo in Singapore and there you had the possibility to feed giraffes and giraffes are his favorite animal so that was a huge happening for him So I have die cut some circles uh, in different sizes of those three papers to use as a background for my photo and I wanted that uh, cheetah stencil to peek underneath that. It's not a giraffe stencil, it's the cheetah stencil, but I thought it would match anyway. So I'm again using two different oxides, um, rusty hinge and I thought it was antique linen. And I'm simply creating a bit of a circle around that photo. So now I'm arranging the circles around the photo and I'm always wriggling around with that until I'm satisfied. And then when I glue everything down, I never glue it down the same way. So. <laughs> So I got that beautiful Go Wild title, which is a gorgeous yellowy brown color. And I'm using the Paper Snips number 10. And these are such cute paper snips, all related to wildlife zoo. Um, so it's really very usable for this photo. And in the Foxbox uh, Plus subscription, you get these flare stickers or epoxy stickers so you can use those uh, circles with your one inch circle punch and create your own epoxy flare and they are so 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 cute I love them so I'm using them all the time now I'm um, taping my photo down with some foam tape and I'm taping it down uh, a bit crooked so have to set it right again and then I start to glue down all those different circles. So I'm arranging all those fussy cut uh, leaves from the stencil number 40. I really love them. They're so beautiful.
So I'm also cutting down some small word strips from those paper snips. And I decide to also create a little cluster uh, on the bottom of the page. And I don't know if you are hearing any saw noises or hammering or something. My neighbors are remodeling, so perhaps you are hearing some constructional sounds. So sorry for that. Also cutting out that cute little safari camera to finish off that little cluster at the bottom of the page. And uh, I'm using a bit of foam tape to glue that title down. You can also use glossy accents, but sometimes when you have a lot of layers, I think it's easier to use little strips of foam tape. So I wanted to create a bit of a border and um, wasn't really pleased with all that white so I made uh, so I punched some holes to simply create a square and I have this uh, embroidery floss with a gradient in it from light to darker brown so I thought that would be a good fit for this page so I'm simply creating long stitches for that square around my page. And that's it. Um, finishing off with some nouveau accents and then the page is done. So I hope you like it and I hope again as always that you got some inspiration of it. And I hope to see your work in our Facebook group. So please join us and let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.